Sean's impact on South African cricket would have been huge. Over 450 wickets in test matches, his exemplary bowling style, a couple of hundreds in test match cricket. So he helped to usher South African cricket into and through a very important stage. That one came back at him. There's a big appeal. Didn't hit the glove. He's gone. South Africa have struck. So my first memory of Sean Pollock was this red-headed guy steaming in against England, full of short balls. Then what followed was just this impeccable line and length. I actually remember him putting Michael Atherton on his backside a few times. In partnership with Alan Donald, I just thought it was some of the most inspirational fast bowling that I'd ever seen, and it's kind of what drove me to become who I am today. Edge gone, caught behind. Sean Pollock gets the wicket. Sean Pollock, I'm sure many people know he, the legacy that he had in front of him. Obviously very difficult from his point of view. His father played international cricket. His uncle played international cricket. He had even his cousins around him playing cricket as well. So he was just such a, a natural sportsman. He made it look so easy. He had a very elegant style, certainly a very good bowling action as well. When I look back at how I went about my business, I modelled my action and what I wanted to do on a couple different players. I kind of always looked at Brett Lee's aggression and Shaib Akhtar's in, intent in his run-up and Alan Donald's gather. And then finally, when I let go of the ball, I wanted to be Sean Pollock. I wanted the ball to land in the same area that Polly landed the ball, always questioning batters, putting them under pressure, beating the outside and inside edge of the bat and always putting them under pressure with, uh, with a good length. Big appeal, that's close, that's very close. Yes, it's out. That's... Sean Pollock was absolutely crucial to the rise of South African cricket, of course, his first test match, 95-96, came only three or four years after South Africa's readmission to international cricket. They were still finding their way as a test nation. A lot of the plaudits at the time would go to Alan Donald. But Sean Pollock played a huge part, 421 test wickets, which at the time would put him right up there in the, the list of all-time wicket takers. And he was the perfect foil to Donald. Donald had this bristling aggression. Pollock had this unerring accuracy and if one of them would scare you out the other one would sort of prize you out with a scalpel that that was Pollock's role in the team. He had a phenomenal record as captain he captained in 26 test matches lost five of them three of those to the mighty Australians who were just about unbeatable at, at that stage he had an amazing record and then sadly was uh, the captaincy was taken away from him maybe a little bit early in a way but he was such a good leader very calm as well down the ground, Pollock gets it, gets all of it. Sean Pollock, hometown boy. Pollock had everything and he could bat too. You didn't just have to survive against Sean Pollock, you had to get him out. He averaged 23 uh, with the ball in Test cricket and 32 with the bat, so a genuine all-rounder who could do pretty well everything. I love to talk cricket and Sean is the same. We talk about fast bowling and the techniques of fast bowling and how to do this better, how to do that better. And it would be non-stop and other people would turn around in the box and they would laugh at us. And he's got an inquisitive mind and always looking to tinker and see how things could be better. That's an edge and Everton's gone. Pollock struck straight away. He's just taken a ton of wickets and scored a ton of runs and he's just, he's, he put South Africa on the map really when it came to bowling and being an all-rounder.